City Council had a total of six candidates running. Out of the three at-large candidates, Mazahir Salih and Josh Moe won the majority of the votes, both winning seats on the council. DITV had reporters across Iowa City last night as well, tracking the election and talking to these candidates. DITV's Brady Barron, Johnny Ballman, and Jordan Tovar have team coverage from the at-large candidates' watch parties last night. I'm here at Fix Coffee inside the Chauncey Building, where new city council member Mazahir Sali held her election watch party. Sali's watch party featured tons of supporters, many of which were friends and family of hers. However, a few Iowa City city council members, along with Mayor Bruce Teague, also showed up to support Sali. She's the perfect person for our community at this time because I, she has a spirit of unity and she's excited, she's energetic and we need someone with experienced leadership on the council. Her platform's focus on affordable housing, transportation, and inclusion made her a popular candidate. After receiving the most votes out of any candidate, Sully is ready to focus on the community that elected her. I believe that the creative solution always coming from the people who are affected by the problem. I will be listening to the people, I will go where they are at, and I will find the problem so, and find the solution from them. And while Mazahir Sali celebrated with supporters at her watch party, she is not the only new member of the Iowa City City Council. DITV's Assistant News Director Johnny Valdman is at Big Grove Brewery with more on new City Council member Josh Moe's election watch party. Here at Big Grove Brewery, Josh Moe won his at-large City Council bid as he received the second most amount of votes out of the candidates. While being elected is the first step before he takes office in January, Moe is prepared to take on his new role alongside Sali. We are all together as a city council and work together. We'll be sworn in sometime between now and then. Um, but yeah, January 2024, we get to work right away with budget season. Both elected candidates take office with similar platforms, wanting to work on similar issues facing Iowa City. Another similarity the two candidates shared was their support from Iowa City's mayor. That this was someone that Iowa City would be fortunate to have as not only their leader, but really as a partner uh, to ensure that people can thrive and, and, and live their best life. Moe's election will see him take a public service role for the first time. While joining the city council, Mo is ready to get to work. Only two candidates could win an at-large spot, leaving one person out. The ITB's Jordan Tovar has more on the final candidate at large. I'm here outside Deadwood in Iowa City where supporters for at-large candidate Mandy Remington have gathered for her watch party. When asked why they voted for Remington, they lauded her leadership abilities and they expressed their hopes for her in the future. She's just a, a, a passionate leader who's built her thing from the grassroots on up and this isn't going to be the end for her. Mandy's still going to be around and not be discouraged by this. But as the night rolled on and results began to come in, it soon became clear that Remington would not be one of the night's two winners. It's a little disappointing. Obviously, I, you know, had hoped to win. Um, but considering that I was outspent about four to one, um, I think that we, we did amazing. While things might not have turned out how Remington hoped they would, she did say that she plans to run again in the next election cycle. From Deadwood Bar in Iowa City, Jordan Tovar, DITV.